I spent three weeks exploring Finland, Finnish Lapland and Norway. I flew with Singapore Airlines um, via Singapore and Copenhagen to get to um, Helsinki. Then I used trains, planes, buses. From Kirkness I boarded um, Hurtengruten and did the Coastal Express from Kirkness down to Bergen. Then I travelled from Bergen via Flam to Oslo on the Norway in a nutshell. Norway in a nutshell is a combination of a bus, train and catamaran scenic cruise that takes you up through to Flam and then you take the train, um, the famous Flam railway and then to pick up um, the train up to Oslo. So in Finland um, a lot of it was activity so I did um, a cruise on an icebreaker then jumped in the survival suit and jumped in some very icy water. I did a couple of dog sledding including mushing uh, my own team. I did snowmobiling, I did hovercrafting, I um, was lucky enough to see the Northern Lights on numerous occasions and just explore Finland as a whole, um, it's a beautiful country. Some of my highlights was definitely mushing my own team of huskies, um, that was amazing and obviously seeing the Northern Lights, um, it's something I've always wanted to see and I actually was able to see it on five different occasions and it was just spectacular, you could see it with the naked eye, you didn't need a camera. So with the Huskies, we were able to drive our own team, which at first was very nerve-wracking after Guy gave us a demonstration of what we shouldn't do. Um, but once we actually got the hang of it, it was amazing. Um, the most spectacular part was going um, over a frozen lake and all you had was just your dogs. It was green, it was clean, it was white, it was, the air was beautiful, it was just an amazing feeling. Um, like nobody else was around, it was just you and the dogs. So I, I boarded a Hurtengruten cruise in Kirkness that was um, part of the 11 day trip but I only did a 5 day trip and went down the Norwegian coastline which was amazing. Um, it was so rugged and um, it, the coloured buildings, it was scary to think people still live that way in the middle of nowhere. Now Hurtengruten isn't your typical cruise um, so if you want a casino, um, shows, um, spa treatments and that, Hurtengruten's not for you. Hurtengruten is a working ship um, so you do do a lot of port stops, but some of those ports are only 10-15 minutes long because they actually are working, they're dropping off supplies, picking up people. Um, but if you want to see a Norwegian coastline up close and personal, it's definitely the way to go and I would definitely recommend them. Um, it would hardly say what a highlight is for Hurtengruten because what I really wanted to do was see in the Norwegian coastline, which is what I did. I did do a couple of shore excursions and one of them was going over the Arctic Road, which was amazing. There was actually a bridge that looked like it went to nowhere. It's actually been used in a James Bond movie and we're very lucky to see it because most of the time that is closed and a lot of that area was inaccessible until they did this bridge. So some of the scenery I think was the most spectacular thing from the rugginess and then right into the inland of um, Norway was amazing. Hurtigruten finished in Bergen which apparently the joke is that it uh, rains for 400 days a year um, but we were very lucky. It was a beautiful stunning day. Um, it was Easter so a lot of things were closed but I did manage to go up to one of the very many lookouts they've got and I saw Bergen as a whole. Um, it was spectacular, it's a very maritime city and it was just a walkable city, lovely, lovely city. Um, unfortunately you didn't get to see everything because it was closed but it was great. But that was also the start of my Norway in a nutshell which is one of the famous um, journeys they've got over there. They've got quite a few but the one I picked was Norway in a nutshell with a stop and flam. Um, so from Bergen we took um, a train to Voss then a bus and then we did a two hour scenic cruise down the fjords to Flam and I spent the night in Flam. Um, I did a couple of sightseeing tours, one up to um, one of the top of the lookout so you could see down both fjords. The next day I then explored it by jet boat and then I joined the um, Flam Railway which one of the most scenic railway journeys um, in the world and that was about an hour long. Um, up through the mountains, it was snowing again. Um, unfortunately, some of the waterfalls were frozen, so I didn't can't, couldn't really see that at the glory. And then from there, I took a five and a half hour train trip um, through to Oslo, where I um, spent a night there before I had to unfortunately fly back home. Food, like most countries, Finland and Norway pride themselves on their food. They're very much from garden to table, so they're very, very much of um, introducing their local produce into their meals. Um, obviously fish, seafood is a big thing, reindeer is another thing, um, but again they also cater very much for vegetarians and vegans I noticed. So they're very, very, very proud of their food and um, definitely I tell you reindeer, not too bad at all.
Apparently it rains for 400 days a year, but I happened to be there when it was perfectly fine. Sometimes around 65 days a year. Yes, I know, but that joke is 400 days a year. Okay. <laughs>